Hello, my beautiful friends. What is up? And welcome back to the Loosely Bound YouTube channel. My name is Kate, and today we're gonna to be chatting about The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Friendly reminder before we begin, if you're not already subscribed to the channel and would take a minute to subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. The Midnight Library was on my want to read shelf for a really, really, really long time. And when I finally got it, I was so, 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 so excited to finally read it. The only thing that I really knew about the Midnight Library was that some girl had died and instead of just dying and being dead, she went to a place called the Midnight Library. And in the Midnight Library, she was able to choose any book that would show her the life that she could have had if she had made another choice in any basic fork in the road during her lifetime. So I thought the whole premise of that on its own was just so unusual. I hadn't read anything else like that in any of the other books that I've read and I was just so excited because that really sounded so amazing to me. So I did a big haul a few weeks ago and this is one of the books that I got on my haul. If you want to check out the haul video, just check out this little card that's going to pop up up here for you somewhere. And after I hauled all of those books, The Midnight Library was one that I wanted to read first out of all of them. The actual summary of The Midnight Library says, Between life and death, there is a library. Up until now, Nora Seed's life has been full of misery and regret. She feels she has let everyone down, including herself. But things are about to change. When she finds herself in The Midnight Library, she has a chance to make things right. The books in The Midnight Library enable Nora to live as if she had done things differently differently. Each one contains a different life, a possible world in which she made different choices that played out in an infinite number of ways, affecting everyone she knew, as well as many people she never met. With the help of an old friend, she can now undo every decision she regrets as she tries to work out the perfect life. But things aren't always what she imagined they'd be, and soon her choices place the library and herself in extreme danger. Before time runs out, she must answer the ultimate question, what is the best way to live? So basically what happens is Nora dies, goes to the Midnight Library, and she gets the chance to live again or try out all of these other lives. So every few chapters in the Midnight Library is a different life scenario that Nora could have led. If she had stayed with this boyfriend, if she had stayed in this band, if she had taken this job, if she had moved to this country. All these different scenarios show Nora what life would have been like if she had made that other decision. So it still sounds pretty cool, but I feel like what really, really turned me off of the Midnight Library was I just did not like the main character. I feel like even from the first two chapters of this book, I had already pegged Nora as just being whiny and uh, she doesn't ever hold herself accountable for her own decisions and she was just never happy and I just couldn't get past that. Like I just did not like her as a character at all. And because I didn't like her and I thought she was so annoying, I didn't care what happened to her, which if you don't care what's happening to the character, you're obviously going to have a really hard time getting through the book because none of the plot points are significant to you when you just don't care. And then aside from just not liking Nora, I feel like this book was almost disguised as like a self-help book kind of. I just feel like it didn't have a lot of depth to it and the whole moral of the story is um, I don't even know what to tell you it is. It's kind of like um, I guess appreciate the life that you have because you are alive and you can make your life whatever you want it to be and you have all these infinite choices and um, like I guess having the power to make decisions for yourself just really should make your life worth living. And that sounds really, really nice, but it just, it, I don't know, it was just too like, almost like light and fluffy and like warm and cozy almost. And that coupled with not caring because the main character was so whiny, it just did not work for me at all. And it was kind of like a letdown because I really, really, really wanted to like this book. I bought the hardcover version of it because I was sure 
I was gonna love it and it was gonna be one of those that was gonna sit on my bookshelf forever and I would reread and it's that is just not what happened for me with the Midnight Library. I don't know, I feel like I'm also like the only person that kind of thinks this way. I feel like most people love the Midnight Library so much, but it, it just didn't work for me. I haven't rated it on Goodreads yet, but I feel like I'm going to probably give it two stars. I was actually thinking of giving it three stars until I started to record this video and I started explaining to you why I didn't like the Midnight Library and then I was like, why would I give it three stars? I've given some, some good books three stars before so I just don't feel like Midnight Library is a three star. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give it two stars. I will say one thing that I really did enjoy about the Midnight Library is the chapters are very, very short. I like books with shorter chapters because it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing a lot. Um, but I don't think there's any chapters that are longer than like five or six pages. And because I struggled to read this book so much, it was nice that the chapters were short because then um, I always had a good stopping point because I always wanted to stop reading. So anyway, if you read The Midnight Library and have a different perspective than me, please leave a spoiler-free comment down below so we can kind of hash it out because I feel like this book was so highly rated, like maybe I'm missing something. So if there's something about this book that you loved that I didn't love or maybe didn't notice, leave a comment down below and just kind of let me know what you thought. Or if you are on the same page as me and you didn't love The Midnight Library, still leave a comment so I know I'm not alone. If you want to grab a copy of The Midnight Library just to try it for yourself because a lot of people do really love this book, I will leave a link in the description box down below so you can easily find and order a copy for yourself there. That's all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!